What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. I injected steroids into my body today, <laughs> which sounds crazy, but it's not because I'm working out or anything. Uh, as you can tell on my face, I have eczema, and as you can tell on my hands, I have eczema, and it's pretty bad. Uh, I'm not super worried about it or really concerned about it, but my mom is very concerned about it. So about a week ago, she made me book a um, dermatologist appointment for today. Um, so I showed up this morning, my mom drove me. She worked from home today and she drove me. Um, showed up at nine, uh, she talked about, so basically the reason why everything's flaring up like on my hands and on my face is because I stopped using steroid cream. Steroid cream is the thing that is back there. Um, and I stopped using it like four months ago. And uh, steroid cream is used to basically get rid of eczema. Uh, but the thing is, is if you use it consistently for a long time, you get steroid cream withdrawal when you stop. So um, I would put steroid cream on my hands. I would touch my face. So now that's why I went through steroid cream withdrawal on my hands and I went through it on my face. Uh, so um, it's actually, so uh, pretty much the thing that's happening is my hands, uh, nope, my hands, uh, it's been long enough to where I shouldn't be going through steroid cream withdrawal anymore and now it's just eczema. So she injected me with a steroid called Canalog. It should last about three months. Uh, and then she prescribed me a very, 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 very strong steroid cream. Um, she said it's very, very strong. And she showed me how much to use by getting some hand sanitizer and it looked like like a quarter of a grain of rice, really. Um, so she said, use this once a day for five days and it should get your eczema under control and it should stop the sort of eczema cycle. Um, and once that's over, um, you know, just don't scratch your hands and then you shouldn't have as much eczema and it shouldn't be as bad. It's like, okay. So I'm gonna put a tiny dot of this on my face. I'm gonna put a tiny dot of it on my hands before I go to bed. And, uh, yeah, that's the plan. And the catalog should help as well, and it should ease me off over the course of three months once I'm done using this. Um, you know, this is the one, one of the times where I've made my thumbnail before I recorded my video. So the thumbnail of this video I've made before. Uh, this is going to be the numbering system for the 24 Days of Christmas series, and uh, you're just, you're going to have to guess how the numbering system works. But it's interesting. It's something I cooked up. Um, it's not like a formal numbering system, but it's just an interesting thing I did. As you know, in the 24 Days of Christmas series, we have 24 Days of Christmas calendar. So, don't open it up, because I have a knife. I'm going to open it up with my knife. There we go. I don't know if I caught that properly on camera. Hope I did. Christmas tree. I love Alan Calendar chocolate. It just tastes like cardboard, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah, so then after that, I went home and just hung out. Um, a plumber came to fix our kitchen sink. So now our kitchen sink has a lot of hot water and it's great. And we have almost no water problems now, which is great. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, then at five, I went to therapy, more like at 4.07, because I like to get there at 4.30, so then I have half an hour of waiting in the waiting room, so my mom left to drive me at four. Um, so I showed up at 4.30, and I had my appointment, and I went home. Uh, I like to take the bus to the local strip mall and then walk home from there, uh, but it just so turned out that my buddies were gonna be at the strip mall, so, um, I hung out with my buddies for a little bit and, you know, we had a good time, you know, we had a good time. And, uh, yeah, then, um, oh, we also got five guys, you know, my buddies. Um, and, yeah, and then I walked home. Check this out, guys. My dad gave me this Duracell battery. The, not Duracell, but, I mean, it looks like a Duracell battery, but it's actually a, um, uh, flashlight. 
Check it out. Whoa, isn't that cool? And look, you can focus the beam. So you could be like, I really want a spotlight on that, on that skull. Or you can zoom it out. It's really crazy because you could just point at the ceiling and it looks like the light is on. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, or I can focus the beam to my mirror and you can see it. I am shining that on my, whoa, that's cool, okay. Um, or I could go like this. Look, I'm gonna expand it. Why did I do that? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope everybody has an incredible day, and uh, yeah, happy first day of December. See you, dude.